Hey everybody! Today I'm going to partially reset up the tank of my crocodile skinks. First, because the drainage layer needed to be cleaned, and second, I wanted to increase the amount of substrate so that the skinks could burrow a bit more. Alright, so let's get started. As first layer I will again use these clay balls. They are perfect material for the drainage layer. These balls can hold quite some water and um, additionally water can stagnate in this layer. So this prevents the actual ground substrate from becoming too swampy. On top of the clay balls I put this filter cotton. Um, this filter cotton is used as a dividing layer so that the actual ground, the substrate, does not fall into the drainage layer. As I said in the beginning, I want to increase the amount of substrate in this tank, especially on this side here. But as the glass panels, especially here in the back to the water part, are not very high, I use these slate slabs so that I can put in a bigger amount of substrate. As always, I have different invertebrates in this tank, which make it a bioactive setup. So, for example, these earthworms, they don't only make a perfect staple for crocodile skinks, but they also help to keep the tank clean and to prevent the substrate from um, compressing too much. Next to worms, I also keep isopods in all my terrestrial tanks. They are a perfect race control as they feed on food remains, dead plant material and even on the skink's feces. As substrate I use a mixture of cocoa ground and forest soil. This makes a good loose soil which still enables the skinks to build burrows. Ok, so now I can put in some decorations and heights. I mainly use bark pieces, leaf litter and wood from a nearby forest as decorations. Additionally to the plants which have already been in this tank before, I will now also add this Raphidophora, also called Mini Monstera. Another new plant is this Chinese money plant, Pelia peperomioides, which I put on this side here. It is very important to provide some heights because crocodile skinks can be really really shy. And interestingly they become less shy the more heights you put in the tank. So this is probably because they feel safe due to the possibility of um, yeah, being able to hide at any time. So I use mainly big bark pieces, flat stones and this artificial height here. And that's already it. I will put in some leaf litter later under which the skinks can also hide and maybe some more bark pieces. Here in the back you can see the water part of the tank and these overgrown things here like ferns and this ficus these are actually the cascades of the waterfall which is currently not running and um, up here there are some more additional heights which are mainly used by the male skink and I really like how, how the back wall has been overgrown by small ferns and mosses in the last two years. So if you're also interested in the initial setup of this tank and the actual building, I will put a link to the respective video here and also in the video description. Okay, that's it. So thanks for watching and 
Of course, if you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments. See you guys.